Hey guys, what's going on? It's Don here from Nova Spirit Tech and welcome back to the channel. And today I'm going to show you guys the last USB installer you will ever have to make. So let's get started. So before we begin, I do want to thank somebody from my Discord channel, which is Van Dictator. Um, he's actually the one that told me about the software and I've been playing with it and I have non-stop using it So I want to thank him for actually showing me this uh, application as well as if you guys want to join me on discord I do have a link down in the description below We basically talk about anything from computers to 3d printing all the way to making a TV antenna with a heat sink So yeah, come join and have some fun now to begin this program that we're gonna be checking out today is called Ventoy and what it does is basically turns your USB into a bootable device that you could just load ISOs into without having to constantly reflash. So if you got five ISOs like Windows 10, uh, Ubuntu, and whatever, you got a bunch of these ISOs, you literally could just drop it into a USB drive and it'll boot and load whichever one you want versus having you to DD or Rufus or Etcher any of the ISO images to your USB. So you don't need to be running around with five different installers, one USB can just do them all. So let me show you guys how to install this application and how it runs. So to begin, there's a GitHub for this, which I'll leave down in the description below. And again, it's from GitHub. And the easiest way to do this, it's either you could clone here, or you can actually open up your terminal and you know, git clone the repository. So I'm not even sure if I have it installed here. Yeah, I don't have git clone, so I'm just gonna download this. Now, we do need some sort of USB, so hopefully the bigger the better because you're gonna be dropping a lot of ISOs into here. So let's start off with that. Pop that into place, and I am gonna unzip the program that I just downloaded, okay? And here we go. So in here, there's gonna be a program, you just head over to install and there's the script. For Windows, there's an actual executable that you can run. So it comes up with the dialog box and it's much easier, but in Linux, you would have to run the script. So to find out what USB I just installed, I'm just gonna go over to gparted, which makes it a little bit easier for me. And I could find out that I have a 32 gigabyte USB in here and it's gonna be on SDA, which is perfect. So I'm gonna open up my terminal. Mm, I actually can't increase the font. I just tried. So we're gonna head over to the downloads folder, then head over to Ventoy, then head over to the install folder. And in here you have that script. We're gonna do a chmod to turn it into executable. And then we're gonna run it. It might need sudo. So maybe not, okay. Um, we're gonna run this script and put dash i to install slash dev slash sda because that's where it is. You don't wanna install it to a wrong drive because it will wipe out that drive. Hit enter, oh, it does require root. So sudo double pound to repeat the last command. Do you wanna continue? Yes. Uh, all the data will be lost. Yes, I am sure. Oh, I pressed T instead of Y. So let me just repeat that real quick. Creating a partition, it's done. It's installing all the stuff, everything is successful. Awesome. So now, this is the cool part. Now I'm actually gonna unplug this USB and plug it back in just to make sure that everything's all set. And once I plug it back in, I should see, I don't know why it's not coming up on my deep in Linux, but I should be able to see a USB drive over here. All right, so there was a little bit of technical difficulties, but we are back. But over here, now you have a USB called Ventoy. And in here, you can literally just drop the ISOs in here. You don't have to extract or anything, which is so cool. So you could put more stuff in here, take it out, and you could actually create subfolders, or you could just put files that are not ISOs and like drivers and stuff like that and use it for storage as well as loading it up. So now that we have everything all inserted, so I got elementary OS, Ubuntu DDE, and Windows 10, uh, I'm gonna reboot this computer and I'm gonna show you in the BIOS options what happens. All right, so I'm heading into my BIOS by hitting the delete. I don't know what your computer might be, but you might have some other boot up options. And I'm just gonna select my USB, which is this guy. So if you got a UFI, you could select the UEFI partition or you can select the regular BIOS partition. It's up to you. doesn't matter. I could select either one or I could just go into F8 and you know select what I want. 
In here, now I have my three ISOs, as you can see, elementary OS, DDE, or Windows 10. So if I want to install Windows 10, hit enter, that's it. It basically loads into that ISO. No more extracting, no more anything. It just works. And they tested this up against 160 ISOs and it's increasing every day. So there's a lot of images that already work with this setup. And I no longer have to burn any more USBs. Anyway, I thought this program was super cool and I wanted to share with you guys. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. If you guys had any questions about this, hit down in the comments below. And if you guys are new to this channel, consider subscribing. Also hitting that bell notification icon so you know when the next video is gonna be out. And as I say in my nerd cave, hack till it hurts.